There's a blackbird literally just perched in the branch waiting to come down. It's not going to take long. Morning and welcome to another wildlife photography video. Um, this is kind of like part four, like a bonus session if you like. A bonus session in the hide. So I'm going to try and get some more shots of the birds in these apples today. I've moved my hide position from the last time. for a bit of sun, but there's quite a bit of cloud around and the sun's not broken through at all really. Um, so I'm having to push the ISO up. So I'm shooting around ISO 2000, um, f5.6 and my shutter speed's still only around 200th. And that's difficult to get a sharp picture because the blackbird they're feeding on the apples so they're continuously moving their heads um, so I'm trying to make a few noises to get them to lift their head up stay still for a half a second or something I like to use quite big windows on the hides rather than just a little tiny window to look through listen to the blackbird just allows me to see the birds coming and you're less likely to be swinging your lens around trying to find the subject the only thing with the bigger windows is there's more chance of the birds seeing movement in the hide. Um, so if I'm in this kind of situation, I tend to wear the gloves as well. When you put your hands onto the camera, onto the barrel of the lens, there's a chance you might see that flash of white. So the green gloves, I think, really helps. Wood pigeons down again. I do quite like wood pigeons. I think they're pretty attractive. This one's just walking through a pillar of light. It's absolutely fantastic lighting on it. Most of the time I've been overexposing a little bit because the frame's usually been quite full of apples which are a bit brighter than mid-tone. But with a wood pigeon I actually went the opposite way, underexposed, because the background was quite dark so I knew it was going to overexpose if anything. So minus a third just to keep the exposure accurate. sun's breaking through so I've been able to drop the ISO um, I'm still sticking around a thousand to just keep the shutter a bit higher because they move the head so much you need a fairly fast shutter speed um, you can do it with slow shutter speeds it just takes a lot of better technique So 
always stayed on the periphery. These field fairs are gonna drive me insane. really good this morning very busy what I just love about this is that the birds are just coming down just behaving naturally feeding on that natural food source um, and I'm just here to try and take advantage it's fantastic definitely want to continue with this I'm going to try and rig up some kind of low level hide which I think is going to work better it's gone really quiet my knees are killing me so I'm going to leave the hide I can actually smell those apples from here um, anyway good to be out there yeah, it's a good session, enjoyed that. Uh, the field fair's being a bit of a pain still. Um, I think maybe it's just a bit suspicious of the hide. But I think if we get a cold snap, and also I'm probably gonna try and create a low level hide as well, which I think will help. But if we do get a cold snap, some frost, and definitely any point some snow, um, I'm definitely gonna be down here. And I think the field fair will be down here, and maybe bring his mates with him as well. So, Anyway, thanks for watching the video and um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.